Aí, Dom Carlos. Hi, hello, how are you? Everything is okay? Yes. Okay, very nice, Edberto. Okay, okay. Put future bilingue. Hello? A future bilingue. Yeah, of course. It's a new project. <laughs> <laughs> I like English. Uh, more or less. More uh, or less. The, the beginnings. Good. El más pequeño que tiene. Sí, el más chiquitín. ¿Cuántos tiene? Dos años. Ah, dos años. Uh -huh. Vos está aprovechando al papá, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Ajá, ah, no me deja. Uh -huh. Ah, no. <ríe> uh -huh. A medida que van creciendo acá, quien va arrando su camino. Caballo, después. Pena. <ríe> Pena les da, ¿verdad? <ríe> Bueno, tiene como... Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Oh, hi. How are you? Very good. 
Nice teacher. Very Re good. Now, father and son receiving classes. Yes. Yes. Hello. 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 Sí, sí. <laughs> he recognized. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Partners. Yes. <laughs> he needs to go to sleep. No yet, teacher. No yet. No yet. What Not time? Yet. Um, no. Eleven, maybe. Eta, eta. Wow. Yes. Eta, eta. Ten, ten. This is very late. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, welcome. It's Friday. How do you feel? It's Friday, teacher. <laughs> ah, glad because it's Friday. Yes, thank I am God. So, I am a little tired, teacher. <laughs> I think so. Everybody is very tired. I yes, to uh, the... it's Friday. To... late. Tomorrow is Saturday. Yes. Is Israel lot. Don't uh, work on Saturday? Oh, I drink beer, teacher. You don't work relax. on Saturday. <laughs> 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 That's his favorite expression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, nice of beer. <laughs> Well, I'm going to ask you to start on the chat, right? What you remember from the unit two? Any, any information that you remember from the unit two, right on the chat. Can be a sentence, the topic, vocabulary, whatever you remember from the unit two, right on the chat. Okay? Okay. All right, two minutes. Okay. All right, online orders and refunds. Mm -hmm. What else? Hey, good evening. What do you remember from Unit 2? Any topic, any information that you remember from Unit 2? All right. All right, new words about online purchase. Model scan could, may, might, would, and would like to. Uh huh. How to use would and would like to, exactly. What else? What else? What else? Right, anything, any information that you remember we studied on Unit 2. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if much. Let's see, what else? I'm working now. It says Robert is still working. Working extra hours. <laughs> All right. I would like to relax tomorrow, says Gilberto. Okay, ring found form. Mm -hmm. Over time. When you work overtime, what time you finish? Maybe Roberts too busy to answer. Yeah, oh, that's why he says it's just business. The verb being passed wasn't where huh without the age, Roberto. Because with the age is the question for a place what was and where mm -hmm. good 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 see sí. okay carlos gilberto carlos roberto carlos gilberto roberto carlos and roberto and gilberto hmm. only the same people participated on the chat and the others, what happened? <laughs> I only see the same names. Teacher. Yes. Was mean passive voice. Passive voice. The translation is la voz pasiva. The thing is that when we speak, we usually use the active voice. The active voice is when you mention the subject and the action. Quien hace la acción? But in passive voice, quien hace la acción is not very important. So, sino, ¿qué fue lo que se hizo? ¿Qué fue? O sea, ¿qué, re, qué recibe la acción? Eso es lo importante. Entonces, eso se convierte en, la, en el subject de la oración. Por ejemplo, usted dice, mm, veamos, America was discovered in 500 years ago. Uh, ok. So, ¿quién lo descubrió? No es como relevante mencionarlo. Entonces, por eso te dice, America was discovered. ¿Qué fue lo que se hizo? Es lo que importa mencionar en este caso. This Entonces, is passive voice. That is passive voice. Para eso se usa la passive okay. voice. Uh -huh. Ah, que okay. yo estaba viendo un ejemplo, teacher, que a alguien le decía, uh, I would like to coat the hair. Entonces, la peluquera le daba la, la tijera. Entonces, entonces, el, el passive boy es, I would like to how to cut hair, algo así. I Tiene que meter el how. Haircut. Algo así, yes, of course. Uh -huh, pero, por ejemplo, también se usa el passive voice para eso, cuando nosotros no hacemos la acción, sino que recibimos una acción. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. yes, por course. ejemplo, para, para mencionar los servicios, cuando uno paga por servicios de, de peluquería, de decoración, de limpieza, de restauración, de reconstrucción. Por ejemplo, usted dice, I fix my car, si sí, yo lo puedo arreglar. Pero si no, usted lo lleva a un lugar y le dice, I have my car fixed. ¿Quién lo hizo? No sabe. Entonces no, es, no puede mencionar quién hizo la acción, porque no sabe lo que sabe, qué es lo que sí se hizo. No, somebody okay. fixed my car, pero somebody no es nadie. Entonces, my, my car was fixed yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. My house was painted. Mm -hmm. That is the passive voice. All right, good. Let's have the attendance. We haven't had the attendance yet. The attendance needs to be taken. One second. Oh, today I was checking the platform and I saw, let me see, still pending people to work on the platform. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Today is Friday the 5th, right? 
the fifth of May. Yeah, I know what the what Mexicans commemorate el cinco de mayo. They commemorate when the army from Puebla won the war from the French. Puebla is Puebla? Mexico. Yes. Oh, no. Mexico, yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. A state, I think, el estado de Puebla. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes. Andrea Lisbeth Monge. Present. Hi, Carlos Erceño. Present, teacher. Fernando. Gilberto Benito. Present, teacher. Hazel. I'm here. Present. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Fine. Tired. <laughs> a little bit <laughs> bitten by yes. a tornado <laughs> yes <laughs> oh, my day was really interesting but very tiring we had food festival so we had to be walking and walking like crazy for all the sitting okay it was an really? event yeah okay <sighs> if you listen to my neighbor singing it's because Probably, you know, somebody's birthday. So the, I think it's the community from their church that come and sing. All right, Jose Andres. Julio Cesar. Present. Hello. Catherine Beatriz. Katy Briseida. Present. Hello. Hello. Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Hello. Good evening. <coughs> Good evening. How are you? Fine. Feeling better? Or you still got the flu? No. No, no, not anymore. <laughs> okay. Does you work in a pharmacy? Nah. <laughs> you need to get the medicine. <laughs> yeah. Imagine how ironic. <laughs> she has beside a lot of medicine. Yes, take everything. The cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Prepare yourself a cocktail. Yeah, mix it to the laboratory. <laughs> it's a joke, Mary. Don't worry. The, Roberto, the drugstore. Yeah, working, Rolando. Chilling. Present, present teacher. <laughs> chilling, chilling. You know the expression chilling? No? That's me, no. chilling. Relax. Yeah. Chill out. It's relaxed. Exactly. So when I say Rolando is chilling, he's just relaxed. Uh, really? <laughs> uh. <laughs> exactly. It's relaxing. Have, yeah, relaxing. I used to have a student that whenever you ask, hey, Edgardo, how are you? You always say, chilling, chilling. <laughs> chilling, chilling. Uh -huh, but it can also mean like, chill out. It's the same. But also in the States, when it's a little bit cold, you say, oh, it's chilling. Uh, okay. I didn't get that meaning, but that's how they say it. <laughs> Rudy. Present teacher. Nice to meet you, Rudy. This is the Hello. first time you're on camera. <laughs> that's why I say nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, the first time, I think. Uh -huh. Really, Rudy? Hello. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's impressed because now Rudy is on camera. Only your voice, I, I know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Can you refresh our mind, Rudy, where you are from? From San Salvador. Hello, Rudy. Oh, teacher, I'm Rudy. Yes. hello. Um, I'm Chachuapa. Oh, you are from Chachuapa, it's true. Yeah. That is Santana, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's on the teacher, way to Santana. I'm from teacher. Salvador. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> well, originally yeah. I am from Ilovasco. My parents and my brothers live in Ilovasco, but I live in San Salvador like all my life. Ah, uh, okay. And I usually go to visit uh, really? my parents. Yeah. I drive 62 kilometers to visit my parents. Ilovasco, teacher. 62. 62 kilometers. Están caliente. Ay. <laughs> Uh -huh. What are you having for dinner, Leti? <laughs> Pupusas, tamales. De, tor de, de, tor de tortilla. De tortilla. tortilla. <laughs> La tortilla. No, cuando se helen. <laughs> uh, what are you making, chilaquilas? I <laughs> know, oh, it's funny. Well, nice. Salvador. Do we have Mr. Salvador from Acajutla today? Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Too much work? Um, very, very work. Too much. Very much work. Too, <laughs> Too much. much. Too much work. But I, I connect. Okay, nice. Are you having more crews coming to El Salvador? Uh, I don't see any anymore. Uh -huh. I think on the last weekend I saw on social media, on Facebook, there was a truth coming. Or maybe it was a late post. Yes, I, I saw a, a, a video of uh, the last... Crucero, como se dice? Last Cruz, like Tom Cruise. <laughs> the last Cruise. Yeah. Come to the, the country. Yeah, maybe it was a late post. Susan? Andrea Urbina? Not here. Virginia? And William? Present teacher. Hello. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Okay, great. Well, today it's Friday, but it's Friday. Day off. <laughs> it's a Friday <laughs> similar okay. to a Monday because we start the section three today. Uh, so okay. we start the unit three. If we had started on Monday and we had had a normal week, this would be Monday because it's the first class for the session three, all right? So you took your manual, you checked your manual, so you know what the unit three is about, right? Okay. Customer service. Customer service. Actually, this module is pretty interesting. Very interesting. Really? Yeah, it talks a lot about customers. Okay. I think maybe you have to attend a lot of customers. Oh, some people are in the customer service area. So that's why I find it very interesting. All right. The a little manage. new work. Mm -hmm. The objective at the end of the session, participants will be able to process and understand customers' opinion about a product or service they receive. So we continue talking somehow related to the previous topic. Remember that we were talking about the satisfaction of a customer. Now we're talking about the opinion, okay? So usually uh, companies um, give an instrument to evaluate, right? Their service or their product, okay? And that gives a lot of feedback so they know what to improve, what to change in the products or the service, right? So that is, if it is objective, it's fine. But if it is destructive, it's not fine, I think. <laughs> because sometimes people just get mad, customers just get mad for things that probably don't make any sense. All right. What's an effective customer service? How can you describe effective customer service? Good attention, on time, kind, nice. So you're going to describe, right? Do you receive customer service training? 
In your company, after work, do you receive training, classes, workshops about being a good customer service agent or how to attend customers in a good way? Can, oh, sorry. How can a company improve its customer service? And the last one, have you ever obtained a bad customer service? In the last question, you as a customer, if you ever had a bad experience when you were a customer of a bad customer service, right? So read the questions. If you don't understand the questions, let me know. Just raise your hand and say, oh, can you explain about this question? Oh, can you give us an example about this question? Okay, can you paraphrase? Or my interpretation of this question is this, this, and this. But am I right? Am I wrong? I got close. So, so, yes. Okay, so try to think of this question, a possible answer. If you want, you can take notes of your possible answers. And of course, this just right after you have discussed, we are going to compare with a partner, okay? Maybe with one or two partners, okay? So we're going to say, okay, what is the opinion? What is your opinion? Or maybe you can look for a definition of effective customer service if you want. Some people may say, oh no, I want to give my own opinion and it's okay. Or some other people say, no, I'm gonna look for a definition in Google. But a definition is not the same as translation, okay? A definition is a concept. An effective customer service is this, 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 and this, right? So four questions, try to think of an answer. And later we share, we compare, we express our possible answers yes all right all right two minutes or three minutes okay. well, there are four questions so four minutes let's say one minute per question try to give an answer
Are you ready? Not yet. Not yet. All right. All right, so we're gonna make the groups and you can interact. Okay, if you haven't finished, it's fine. But then you can compare and probably you can take ideas from your partner's answers, right? Let's see. Okay, here we go. Teacher, creo que la compañera está solo como oyente.
la primera pregunta dice que es un, costo, un servicio de cliente efectivo, dice. Mm, la primera sería la del corazoncito. Uh, no, 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 creo que sí. Hola María. Do you receive it customer service training? <coughs> ¿Cuál quiere contestar? Pues va, la que quiera contestar usted. ¿Le gusta más esa? Empecemos por esa. Hola, todavía. Le acabo de empezar. ¿Y usted ya la ya usó o no? Ah. Eh, no, yo ahorita este, estoy buscando aquí la imagen que envió la teacher. Eh, creo que vamos a contestar este según el recuadro de cada una. ¿no? Exactamente, sí. Okay. Eh, number one, do you receive customer service training? In my case, uh, at the company where I work, eh, we we receive receive training for customer service. Uh, for example, um, how, how do you how do you speak to the customer? Uh, how do you resolve the problem to the customer? And in principle, uh, we should rely with the customers, with the customer. What do you think about it? Uh, fidelidad de, de client uh, or the customer. Loyalty, loyalty. Loyalty, yes. yes. Okay, very good. Lealtad, ¿verdad? Yes. Do you receive okay. customer service training? Yes. The new personal training. Eh, como, como, sí. In, in training for uh, customer service. Yes. Customer for service. improve for improve the skill to uh, sell a lot of items to is is to what? try to solve al client al client's problem como resolverle el problema al cliente. Mm -hmm. Sí. Usted. Uh, dar una respuesta eficaz is in my opinion is that for example Guita. Ineficiente, ineficiente y este y no efectivo, por decirlo así. Okay. So, how can a company improve its customer service? Maybe eh, for Letty can make some trainings and prepare more uh, about this this topic i mean I, I don't know um in in my work i i have to constantly uh, um, uh, training about customer service and how you see Using good words and making service uh, time shorter. In addition to providing a uh, quality service. Okay, very good. Excellent. And number four, have you ever obtained a bad customer service? Alguna vez has obtenido un mal servicio al cliente? Yes, I have. I remember 
when when I visited one store, I received a bad service of the store. And when the clients received bad service for the store or the company, that's that's client uh, is lost for the company because because when the people go to the store or the company and receive a bad service, this client never never come back to to the store. Okay, what do you think? Yeah. Is uh, I remember uh, when I visit uh, your store. Uh, bene the benefits the benefits of the employees for to to improve the customer service. Teacher, I have a question. Hello, yes. how do you say? Uh, uh, in this moment, we read the first question mm -hmm. says how can a company improve the customer service i think about the is um the first thing is trying it for the employees mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the second thing maybe for me is uh, uh gain the benefits the employees for yeah example. sure uh how do you say um bonus uh, incentives yeah, but it's like uh, um, I don't know how do you say when you buy a low price the launch is is a uh, uh, I don't know. Se me fue dice. Es como un un precio barato. A low price, a discount. Yes. Yes, maybe a discount. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is like a discount for, for the, the employee. People. Yes. Yes, uh, Aguinaldo, uh, 100%. And good benefits, good long yes. benefits, uh -huh. monetary yes. benefits, bonus. Yes, a lot of things that is very important to the employees. Mm -hmm. uh, improve the customer service. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Gilberto, how, how about you? In my case, uh, company employee, the customer service uh, uh, the products con content que es como obligación mía aprenderme lo, lo, la medicina que ellos frecuentan y aunque fuera así no es correcto porque imagínese si ya no le toca de eso o hay gente que llega, dame una pastilla para el dolor del corazón, es que me duele el pecho. Y le digo, no, eso no lo puedo despachar así, porque tiene que haber una, una receta, algo que le diga de cuál es la que, imagínese, le doy la que no es, y ahí con esa lo despacho. <risa> <risa> es bien, aunque quiera ser muy eficaz con en mi servicio, no, <risa> en esa forma no puedo. Es no, en, la, en la parte de la farmacia eso es bien delicado. Sí. Sí, pero hay personas que asumen que, que ya uno tiene que sabérselas todas. Pero, pero yo creo que es por eso, fíjese, porque el, el mismo mercado los malacostumbra. Eh, por eso que le digo, porque le, cuando hacen este tipo de, de, de aplicaciones en otras empresas, ya después piensan que todas las empresas son iguales. Sí. Eh, creo que eso, que el CRM creo que es Customer Relationship. Eh, C, C, management. Eh, manage, management, exacto. Entonces, en, a través de un CRM pueden, este, como le digo, guardar todo tipo de información del cliente para saber qué es lo que va a querer y predecir lo que quiere en los tiempos que lo va a querer. Sí. Y. Y, y le puede ayudar a usted, pero en el caso de la farmacia sí es bien delicado, como usted dice, porque no es solamente de que yo quiero, sino que tiene que tener una receta medicada. ¿va? Sí, y hay, hay, hay pacientes que se molestan 
porque ya le y van con el médico y le dice mire la muchacha que tiene ahí no me quiso vender tal y tal pastilla pero como él sabe pues que no no se puede despachar así porque yo a más de una persona no le he despachado que, que llegan que le duele el corazón y le digo usted es hipertenso no usted es diabético no y todos me dicen no entonces no le digo yo porque they say the heart and is the liver Or, or, sorry, it's another thing in the thoracic. <laughs> no, terrible. <laughs> Imagine, hay gente que todo se quiere quitar con una aspirina y no, eso no es así. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, la última mm. no la contesté. El have you ever obtained it? Ahí no sé qué significa la pregunta. Have you ever obtained? Eh, no, ahí dice que si ha sido. ¿Alguna vez ha recibido un mal Un mal trato, ajá, un mal servicio. Ah. Un mal servicio al cliente. Uh -huh. Ah, sí, de, de la gente de claro. Oh. Yo de Tigo. Oh. <risa> Yo de Movista. Me han ignorado como han querido. <risa> ahí estoy peleando que ni pagarles quiero porque. El servicio de internet no sirve, no me llega el internet y, y quieren que les paguen. Ay, pero usted ponga sus moños Va que y, sí. y exíjale descuento por segundo que no ha tenido el servicio. Porque nosotros en plena Navidad nos dejó Tigo sin internet. Este, uh, sí. Esta Navidad recién pasada y no, nos cobraron después la mitad del, del servicio. Y nos subieron más megas y no hallaban ni qué matarnos, pero nos pusimos dramáticos. Sí, verdad. Sí. Sí, porque ellos piensan que uno tiene pisto para hacer. All right, everybody finished? Yes? Volunteers, at least one question so that we give more participation to others. Me, teacher. All right, go. Which question are you going to answer? Okay, ¿cuál sería la primera? You choose. Usted decida. Which one? Do you receive customer service training? Okay. La respuesta sería If I don't receive a training, do I receive good customer service? Okay. La segunda eh, What's an effective customer service? Eh, la respuesta sería Good. Customer service is a critical to business success, ensuring brand loyalty when customer at a point. Okay, it's critical, it's essential, it's important, right? To the success of a company. Okay, right. and number three, how can a company improve its customer service? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, with constant training for customer service employees. With constant training, all right. Okay, uh, number four, how do you ever obtain a bad customer service? And at the moment, no. Really? I, I, I have a good, a good service from the supplier of the brand. 
Nice. Good that you never receive a bad customer service. Are you sure, Julio? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you. Someone else? Me, teacher. All right. Go ahead, Robert. Hey, number, number one, do you receive customer service training? Yes, I do. Uh, I remember at the company he training training his employees, and this this training is very important because the people learns learn like like speak with the client, uh, like resolve the problem, mm -hmm. uh, like help the people. Okay. Mm -hmm. And number two, was an effective customer service. I think so. Uh, that effective customer service is when it when when the when the people or the company resolve the problem. Uh, to the customer service okay. uh, because be, because when the companies or the store resolve problem or or needed or the cost or the customer mm -hmm. uh, the client is is satisfied come is satisfied satisfied, satisfied mm -hmm. uh, with with the service of uh, of the company mm -hmm. and, and number three uh, they say, how can a company improve its customer service? Mm -hmm. uh, I think so that companies or store uh, can improve its customer service, listening to the client, uh, listening when the client uh, need need something uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. uh, this for is that this for the companies can can improve his his customer service yeah uh -huh. and the last one have you ever obtained a bad customer service yes i have i remember uh, when I visited a store, I received I received bad customer service, and I think so. When the when the people receive bad customer service, the people uh, don't don't come back to the store, yeah, because the bad service is very bad for the company and for the store. Um, exactly. other, mm -hmm. other example can be when when the people visit El Seguro Social. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good example. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only to share. Uh, no more explanation needed. Yeah. <laughs> Es true. Lo tratan a uno como que si uno les está yeah, rogando. Es un buen ejemplo. Todos los meses le descuentan. Si es posible, más. Yeah. <laughs> sí. You get a huge yeah, discount. Yeah. Every payment. Ah, pero, wait a second. Le descuentan. O sea, si, si le pagan quincenal, en las dos boletas le descuentan. Yes. Every time you yes. get paid, you get a discount. Si sumamos yes. eso, es a lot of money. Yes. Yes, of course. Pasan. I know. I have had so many experiences of that. But anyways. Anybody else? Carlos. <laughs> you choose. Uh... <laughs> Yes, uh, for me, the number three uh, question uh, for me, that's 
to improve the customer service is uh, training the employees, the employees the staff. yes, mm -hmm. get uh, uh, maybe benefits to the employee have a, a, a good, mm -hmm. yes. Um, for example, discover the, the launch, um, the bonus, for example, that's just very important to uh, improve or to, yes, to improve the customer service or improve the skill to sell item mm -hmm. or the customer come back. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's very important to have a happy yeah. employee, to give the employee the tools, the training that the employees need to do a good customer, or to give, to provide a good customer service. All right, somebody else? Ladies? Should I think that uh, this reason for many companies were hard to increase the customer satisfaction level. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, well, very good. I saw you were participating on your group, so I bet you already have the answers. That's great. Let me just move to the next slide. I think this is on your manual, okay? This is vocabulary classify the activities and actions into two roles. These actions pick up the phone, understand, explain, complain, help request information, get prices, provide one's information, assist, buy, call, receive. Which of these actions are for the customers and which of these actions are for the company representative? The company representative definitely is the person, the employee that works attending the customers, okay? So, in case, Sal is clear. No necessarily Sal is clear. A Sal is clear can be a company representative, but there are some companies that attend uh, calls when the clients or when the customer want to complain or when they want something to be okay. repaired or when they want help or assistance with something. For example, when you work, I mean, Let's say it's hard, but it happens. You call a company because your internet service is not good. And that is very okay. common. <laughs> or you call mm -hmm. a bank because you got it stolen <laughs> or you got robbed, right? So you call, yes. and of course, there is a person that works for this company, that is the company's representative, that is supposed to provide you a good customer service, all right? I'm gonna show you where you can find that on your manual. So for a better reference, let me just grab it and it's right here. This Did is where we, yes ma'am. Some of these words apply for both. For example, mm -hmm. uh, explain, is for customer and cost a company's representative. Yes, that's right. So we put in both sides. Yeah, on both sides, on both okay. columns. Right. Thank you. Okay. Which so, one? Excuse me. <laughs> copy, copy. <laughs> explain. <laughs> because the customer ah, okay. explains the problem and probably the company representative explains the reasons or the procedures or how to solve it, right? So it's ah, okay. I here. Yes. I captured your idea. Okay. okay. So listen to the teacher, read the words and repeat, write what the customers and companies representative do, right? Pick up the phone, understand. Understand would be another one. Explain, complain, help, request information, get prices, provide one's information. Assess, buy, call, receive, right? So some of those are just from the customer. Some of those are just from the company representative, but some are for both. Yes? 
classified as companies representative we can complain to <laughs> for the attitude no of the caso. customer <laughs> <laughs> pero que no hagan caso es otra cosa <laughs> sí, es I see. we as teachers <laughs> complain sometimes okay let me tell you this is a very personal story Okay, our clients, not here in another program, okay? Because here, I never have time. I just teach the class, cancel, I mean, finish the, the video call and that's it. But in my other job, I spend from Monday to Friday, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., right? So it's a lot of time. So sometimes I complain about my clients. In this case, our direct clients are the students. And of course, kind of indirect clients are the, the parents or the representatives of the kids. When the kids don't want to work, don't want to do anything, or are irresponsible, of course, we as teachers sometimes get frustrated and complain probably with the principal with the supervisor with the director but there's no answer <laughs> complain about about this no they say, direct. no maybe sometimes solo uno, uno solo se quiere como express okay to take out the frustration because some children no arrancan. they don't want to work they don't want to do anything and Ni embajada. Ay, Dios. Ni el pulmón. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the semester you have to demonstrate results they have to speak they have to communicate they yes. take a test yes so we get frustrated, we complain. Maybe not that we present a formal complaint, but sometimes when we talk with another teacher, we tell the other teacher about the situations, about the problems. And then the coordinator says, that's your work. You have to look for solution. Damn. So, <laughs> <laughs> but she never helps. <laughs> She doesn't when suggest one them. of us uh, on our team has a very difficult client, uh, or a customer who asks for for some crazy crazy things. We share because uh, for that reason. Uh -huh. Solo para calmarnos un poquito. Exactly, <laughs> just to take out the frustration. Yes, <laughs> just to relieve. Just Aliviar. to make catharsis, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Relief. Exactly, relief. Relief. <laughs> but sometimes it's hard because we as teachers have a lot, how do you say, oh, desgaste emocional. <laughs> Especially uh, when we work with uh, teenagers. Because this program is different. You are adults, you're responsible, so it's totally different. But with teenagers, with children especially because they have a lot of issues at their houses at their schools so it's pretty hard to handle sometimes we even need a psychologist emotional stress that's true yeah. or we call yeah, it born out stress. sometimes mm -hmm. must mean born out born out usted está quemado Yes, mm, <laughs> you have okay. no solutions anymore. You have tried <laughs> everything, but at this time you, you don't even want to try. You gave up. Mm -hmm. Okay, you spend time and no results. Mm. Too many things. And then you get really frustrated, really disappointed that you don't even want to try anything new. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, did you finish the classification? Everybody? Yes. Mm, all right. So we're going to compare with our partners. Let me get the new groups for you to compare. 
Come on, Tisha, we are speaking. <laughs> you haven't finished. <laughs> almost, what? almost. Almost. But you have it in your manual, so that's not a problem. Let me see. Oh, okay. Yes, let me see, let me see. lo ordenamos eh, <laughs> hay palabras que la quiero poner a los dos lados <laughs> for example <laughs> um, comprender Un understand understand yes for me it's, it's both sides of the of the mm, requires information Yes, I think it is true for customer only and companies representative because um, the company's representative needs to to get the information, but the customer needs to make question and and I mean it's it's like request information. Okay. Receive as customer. ¿Cuál? Which one? Número 12. To have received, yes, I think it's customer because okay. he, he received the, the solution. Okay, call. Call. Maybe the customer, but we... I... Vamos a poner en, en el cuadro lo que hace un cliente y lo que hace el representante de una empresa. Okay. Eh, ya le paso la captura. Es esta. Sí, aquí la tengo. Este, sí, ahí vi que la paso. Lo mismo. For example, the company representative. Replicar algo, ¿verdad? Mm, sí. Quizás serían también. ambos también. Serían sí, ambos. Sí, Ajá, es, sí, sí es puede compartida. ser en ambos. Pero number four, Pero complaint. siempre es prioridad al número del cliente, escuchar al cliente, ¿verdad? Las explicaciones, sí. tratarlo de entender, ¿verdad? Ajá, y en este caso, si el cliente se queja, usted le debe explicar las razones a que él comprenda. Ok, entonces, explain. Explain. Podría ser en ambos lados, ¿verdad? Yes. Pues, complain es, es más para el customer. Explain. Ajá. Y complain es quejarse. Es quejarse. Es, complain. Es lo más común, es lo más común del, del customer, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, entonces ¿Cómo? complain también. Uh -huh. El number five, help. Help. Companies Customer. representative. Uh, why? Why number yeah. two is understand? Customer. Yes. Uh -huh. Why understand? Understand. Entender que. 
por ejemplo, si yo le estoy explicando a un cliente de la, de la garantía adicional que se le pueda proporcionar al producto, uh -huh. le explico el tiempo, los beneficios y todo eso, entonces el cliente ya entiende. Ah, uh, understand. understand. Okay. Yes. Understand. Okay, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes. The number three explain is for, is for to both. For both. Size. Mm -hmm. Explain. Yep. Why, both. why side to the customer? Because usually the customer explains problems. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, if they need assistance or if they need help with something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, In the case well, of the services, right? Okay. ¿Sabes qué, Carlos? Este, mm -hmm. La help, ponerla en customer y assistant en companies. Son prácticamente... Help. Ajá, porque yo veo que son... Ok. Ok. Ok, eh, health sería el ayuda, quien pide ayuda sería el customer. Mm -hmm. Sería el customer el que pide ayuda, health. Mm -hmm. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo creería que sí. Sí, también. O, o, ¿Qué dice usted? Sí, yo creería que sí, también. Ok. Request information is request. Uh, solicita información, verdad? Uh, el que solicita información, eh. Sería el representante de la empresa. Sí, company representative. Sí, yes. ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Request information. Okay, number 10. Number 10, buy is the cost. Buy. buy, comprar, yes. Okay, cool. In number 11, call uh, my claim, my customer. Uh, call uh, at the company and sell, o sea, sell at the cost, at the customer, ¿verdad? O sea, es para los dos, ¿verdad? Es compartido. Sí, yo diría que es compartido porque tanto el cliente como el vendedor están en constante interchange okay. de, de communication, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Vale, hemos hablado de companies. Eh, receive. Receive. Es recibir. Yes. Receive. También parece que sería compartida. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. sí. Hay muchas cosas que 
que caben en los dos lados, ¿verdad? Son de ambos intereses. No es correcto. Explain, complain, help, the question information, request information, get price and buy. Katy puede leer la primera columna. Ok. Customer. Explain. Comply. Help, request information, get price, buy. Ok. Ok. Don Gilberto. Company. Company. Pick up the phone. Understand. Provide one information. Assist. Call. Receive. Ok. Um, All right, you finished already, right? Yes? Yes, teacher. Good. But this might be some of the, mm -hmm, the customers buy, call, provide one's information, complain, get prices, request information. And algunos puede estar en ambos, ¿verdad? Like explain could be here as well. Assist, pick up the phone, receive, help, understand. These are just like some suggestions. <laughs> Any other? I uh, understand could be in both as well. Provides information can be in both as well. Mm -hmm. What else? Understanding both. Mm -hmm. teacher. I was saying both. Okay. All right. Describe and show understanding towards a customer's experience. Choose a department where you work in and a friend explain to a partner that what activity you do there and answer the questions. Uh, anybody works in customer service of your company? Yes, you do. Okay. So, can you explain the activities that you do there? Mm -hmm. Salary, salary of uh, um, salaries. 
you are in sales. Yes. Right. Okay. Can you explain the activities that you do for customer service? Yeah. And, um, uh, teacher environment stresses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the customer environment. Any any customer um feels difficult so very customer. <laughs> yeah, difficult customer, yes. Uh -huh, when they complain, when they are rough, when they are mean. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, this mom may have a huge discount. <laughs> yeah, so you choose. Okay, I, I want to listen to somebody that explains the department where you work and explain the activities that you do in that department. For example, you say, oh, I work for the customer service department. I attend the phone calls when customers have complained about the products and I offer them an apology or I explain what the right way to do it is. And I offer a discount could be, but not all the time they offer a discount because most of the companies I mean, don't want to accept that there's something wrong, okay? They usually say, okay, it's the customer's responsibility. So you have to, I mean, just do nothing. <laughs> you just have to argue with the agent, but at the end, it's very hard to get a resolution, right? Just like classify the customer. Mm-hmm. No, but if you, anybody in this class has the experience of working, attending customers, you can explain what kind of activities you do, like answering the phone or sending messages or receiving and replying emails, explaining the policies of the company regarding this topic or attending the clients in person when they come to the store, whatever your activities are. Mm -hmm. Anybody? In my, in my case, teacher, mm -hmm. uh, I'll call the customer as his call. Mm -hmm. uh, get, get, a price, get a price the product. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the other uh, WhatsApp uh, get a price también the, the product. So you send images and the explanations about the product through WhatsApp? Yes. Ah, all right. Someone else? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, um, I work uh, in a big company. The name is Confección del Valle. Mm -hmm. um, there are 10 plants. In, in, I work in a warehouse. In, in warehouse, we are receiving all supplies to the plants. Uh, for example, we are receiving all material uh, for sewing mm -hmm. in the plants. Mm -hmm. uh, we are receiving labels, mm -hmm. pocket, mm -hmm. box, poly bags, and uh, bottoms, drills, uh, and others. Mm -hmm. uh, the process is the following. First, when when the clients send material for the warehouse, mm -hmm. uh, we the 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 personal receiving uh, that material. And mm -hmm. my my partners, uh, we are for quality control. Mm 
Uh -huh. I am a quality control. And, and I check the old material. Uh, when I finish the process, they check the material. Uh, the warehouse sends material to, to other plants. Mm -hmm. This is this is this process uh, is is my for example. Mm -hmm. and, and then uh, uh, we we that customer customer service because the other plants are are customer for me mm -hmm. yeah because and you are the supplier of the materials yeah yeah that's mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. eh, entonces en otras palabras eh, yo tengo que dar servicio al cliente porque las otras plantas eh, yo les sirvo cierto they material they are your customers yo, <laughs> yes <laughs> yes entonces tengo que dar un buen servicio al cliente okay Nice. It's like internal service or customer. Exactly. Internal customer yes. service. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Someone else? Any other real experience? What should I choose a name? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the experiences from Hazel because she has lots of experience. Hazel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I want to know how the bank work. <laughs> uh, I'm not in, in customer uh, service directly, but... But you know how it works. Yes. And, uh, and you have to give training to the people that work for customer service. Yes. Of course, because we are we are on sale. So if, if the experience of the customer is bad, if the we we don't get over the the goals, obviously. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the problems in our activities is the delivery of the. Checks, checks. Mm -hmm. checks. Okay, can I check? Checks. checks. Mm -hmm. The checks. And we have to the the customer uh, write on WhatsApp or wrote in on WhatsApp or just send us an email or or just they call. So we have to to find a way to coordinate the delivery of that checks. And sometimes it is not it's so easy because in this country, we just have two uh, companies for, for uh, as courier. So it's very difficult. We work with Aeroflash and, and they doesn't have nothing about flash. <laughs> <laughs> flash is the list they have <laughs> yes exactly and it's, so it's very difficult and in the um, a contact center uh, they receive the calls in uh, um, in Banco from, at Banco Promerica the agent of service um, try to no resuelve inmediatamente, no sé cómo decirlo. So you don't give an immediate solution. No, because they try to get information for the other departments or their or the people who is involved mm -hmm. in the situation. Mm -hmm. In that process, they have to send emails, they have to use Teams or whatever, mm -hmm. or make a call. So maybe the the customer uh, in in the first call doesn't get the the solution. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, the contact center is not to be because the the customers have many options to to get the the resolution with um, well page and, and, and landings and or, or, or just something more just some things 
like that. Oh. I'm still waiting for my resolution from my bank. <laughs> <laughs> and you told me that it can be three months. Yes, because it is, is the, the situation with the brand of the car. So in, in that case, the bank uh, doesn't have a participation directly because the bank just uh, put the, the complaint and all the research and, and is, is for the brand. Oh. I'm and it's so true, it, it, it's I'm not so a way to, <laughs> yes, and, 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 and it's true, it's not a, a form to, a way to, to get off the client, it, it's really true, the process is very difficult, and I work in three biggest bank of, of, the, of the country, and it's the same thing, mm. yes. What a sad story. Yes, but is. thank you <laughs> for sharing, <Okay. laughs> for informing us, My for, pleasure. yeah, for training us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Show understanding towards customer experiences. Customer service, a customer's interaction with your contact center, how quickly a customer's issues is resolved, having the option to pay a bill online. Customers experience the reason why they are calling <laughs> your contact center, everything that occurred prior to the call and how they feel about the service they receive. Why the customer had an issue or question to begin with and how frequently they have issue with your business. How easy it is to pay a bill online. So this is, you know, like some of the experiences customers have regarding customer service. So, okay, we're not gonna stop much on this activity. Yes. Just have a couple of questions from the manual. This is the same, what do customers call for? ¿Cuáles son las razones para que un cliente llame al contact from the company customer service? And what was the last call you had about? Just try to answer these two questions. I'm going to give you two minutes because it's just two questions and try to explain later. All right, I just need a second. All right, you already have an answer? Do you have an answer? What more do customers time, call for? More time, one more minute. One minute. All right. Uh, teacher, I think that the customer contact customer service uh, when they when they need more information on your on your product 
Mm -hmm. Maybe. For a product or a service, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other reason why they contact? Because the client received product with bad quality. Bad quality could be mm -hmm. because they want to complain about the product they receive, right? Mm -hmm. So they want to complain with bad service as well. So they want to complain for delays as well. For example, yes. once I had this, this uh, situation that I bought an appliance at a store and they were supposed to be delivered on a specific day at a specific time. And I was waiting the whole day and the refrigerator never came. <laughs> so I called, what happened? Because they promised they will deliver the appliance and I needed to do other activities. I was, I mean, I didn't have much time to be waiting the whole day. Is so, there going to Wanting more information to make a purchase? Mm -hmm. Yes, to request for more information to make a purchase, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what was the last call you had about? Okay, mm -hmm. if you're working in, in customer service, what was the last call about? But here, it seems that no, I mean, none of us work with just attending customers call, right? Maybe Hazel have a uh, answer. <laughs> <laughs> we always have. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hazel, are, are you there, Hazel? <laughs> No, I have a grabación. Okay. Hazel is using robots to be in class. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's true. She's using artificial intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Hey, it's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Well, if I have to give you an example as a teacher, well, what customers call for? English classes and educational services. What was the last call? Asking for courses, the schedules, and book prices. All right. Ta-da! Excellent. Tema espectacular in English. <laughs> Temas, como dicen los children. <laughs> yes. Pues sure time. Sí llegó lo buena. <laughs> sure time. Breaking news. Yeah. Uh -huh. Vamos yeah. a ver. Breathe. <laughs> Take a deep breath first. Okay. Anybody, any idea or alguna experience, good or bad, with this topic? Yes, teacher. Tell me. Uh... This is the first time, this is the second time. I have seen it before. I have no idea. I am frustrated. <laughs> no. Yes, I am frustrated. <laughs> I am frustrated with the past tense. Yes. Why? Um, not when when, when, when you use was and where, maybe uh, in, in which case, to use glass and wear uh -huh. and whatever. But not many times you have studied this topic. Yes. A teacher, couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, teacher, my question is about the verbs, for example, the past pronunciation, pronunciation the regular verbs. Uh, I, I need help with pronunciation when the bears the final song is t for example with the regular verse yeah regular bear mm -hmm. for example war word 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 okay Stop. this is my this is my my problem with this regular bears mm -hmm. it's not that bad we're gonna get to that topic but before we get to regulars and irregular verse, there's a beautiful verb to be. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, it's going to be all right. 
Va. The verb to be es el tema más famoso en inglés. But now, not only the verb to be in present, the verb to be in past. Yeah. Como que para qué me serviría este verb in past? For several things. For several things. En Spanish no es nada más que era o estaba. Yes. <laughs> The problem is que no a todos los subjects se les pone was, ni a todos los subjects se les pone where. Right? Yes. Okay. Pero es fácil. Los singular nouns, los singular pronouns, los que nombran una sola persona llevan was y los que son plural llevan where. I, he, she, it, was. You, we, they, were. Yeah. Yes. They were friends. Yes. They were not. Aquí ya nos vamos a la forma negativa. Pues como el verb to be no necesita de auxiliares. Se auxilia solo. Solo se le agrega. Solo se le añade el not. Y decimos they weren't friends. Were they friends? Yes, they weren't friends. Were they friends? Si tuviéramos que hacer una question. But aquí tenemos otros verbos en pasado, pero ahorita digamos que no vamos a enfocar. Déjenme compartir el manual. Because una de las sugerencias que yo en especial hago es que cuando vamos a estudiar esta parte de grammar, hay gente que se sofoca y quiere saber todo de un solo. Y por más que corramos, a veces lo, lo que sucede es que nos atropellamos nosotros mismos, o nos echamos en caída. Va. Vamos a enfocarnos primero solo en el paso B. Ya tendremos la clase del Monday para dedicarnos a los otros verbos. <risa> Esto ya es un gran rollo. Yes. Entonces, ya para el simple pass y de verbos regulares y verbos irregulares, we are going to have next classes, ¿ok? okay. So the first thing we're going to study is the verb be. The verb be, por muchísimas razones, ya es un irregular verb. <laughs> Porque no se le agrega ed, no puedo decir build. Impossible. Okay. El verb be se conjuga dependiendo del sujeto. Por ejemplo, en presente se conjuga de tres formas. Am, is, are. I am, you are, he is. Y en pasado se conjuga de dos formas. Was and were. Yes. It was a great experience. The agent was very helpful. You were on our page. We were excited about service. Okay. Aquí obviamente le van a poner con todos los otros verbos. But I want you to study just about was, where. Bye. Voy a dejar de compartir porque voy a compartir la pantalla con la pizarra. Let me share this. Let me see. Collaborating. Yes. Bye. Next. Next. And done. And draw. Wait a second. No salen las, las tools del texto. Ya no por ahí. Los participants. Ah. <ríe> Como cuando le quieren manchar la pizarra a la ticha. Bye. <ríe> Dijimos. ¿Cuáles eran los sujetos que van con was? I. Uh -huh. I. I. He, she, she, and it. it. Bye. Estos van con was. Was. Okay. Was in affirmative. In negative. Negative. Wasn't. Ajá, sería wasn't. 
Okay. Teacher. Uh -huh. Ahí el, el, el was en, o el was o el where no necesita auxiliar para negar. No. Es lo que le digo, el verb to be es súper especial, por eso es un tema famoso en inglés, porque él se auxilia solo, así esté en presente o en pasado. Por ejemplo, usted cuando va a decir, I am not, no necesita de otro auxiliar, simplemente le agregue el not, a, I am. Yes? No, no decir, I am did not. I am did not, or I am don't not. O I am didn't. Nada. Ajá, entonces... Para you, we, and they, ¿verdad? Yes. Pincher uh -huh. está escribiendo algo en la pizarra. Ustedes no lo logran ver. Yo no sé. Yo no. Yes. Sí lo veo. Yo no. Yo Muy sí. Bien. No la ha movido, Carlos. Mm, no. Porque aquí veo que va circulando Virginia. No sé, como que cuando se mueve el mouse se mueve nuestro nombre. No sé si el mío anda bailando ahorita ahí. Y ahí sale. Y yes, es María. Ah, ok. De hecho, todos <risa> podrían <risa> colaborar. <risa> es para eso la hora de la pizarra. Ajá. Ok. Ahí está. Bueno. Entonces acá sería you, we, they, weren't, right? Were. Uh -huh. Or weren't. 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 Uh -huh. Bye. En el tema que presenta la unidad. O sea, es un poquito difícil porque usted dice, ¿cómo fue la experiencia? Podría decir, the experience was good. The experience was good. Excellent. The, uh -huh, excellent. How was the experience? It was interesting. Or how was the customer? The customer was angry. Yes. How was the representative? Oh, he was or she was nice. Yes. Si lo queremos como acoplar al contexto de la temática. Generalmente lo que sucede es que se fuerza un poquito. Digamos que este tema se presta muchísimo para decir cómo era usted cuando era niño, cuando era joven. Yes. Porque eso ya es el pasado y era ser. Yes. ¿Cómo eran ustedes de niños? I was terrible. <laughs> okay. I was very quiet. Yes. Terrible boy. I was a terrible. Okay. I was hyper. <laughs> I was. No sé. Se May presta. Write something. Uh -huh. okay. Y pueden escribir una sentence. How were you as a kid? ¿Cómo eran ustedes de niños? De hecho, was mean uh, this sentence. Si quieren moverla hacia abajo para que, para que se lea mejor. Solo acá. Así. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y es. If weren't, ¿qué dice? For If him. weren't for him. Da, en ese caso, estamos usando un condicional. Ese que es, si fuera... Si no sea, fuera si, por él. Si no fuera por él. Ajá. Es, pero ya estamos usando el if. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nos esperamos mejor. <ríe> <ríe> no, o sea, ustedes pueden, pueden preguntar, no hay problema. Pero, o sea, no, no es el tema. Okay. El tema de ahorita es nada más decir era o estaba en pasado. Okay. Por ejemplo, okay. cuando usted le dicen, ajá, ¿dónde estabas? I was at work. <ríe> okay. 
Yes, I was in class. Yes. Eso sí. I was playing soccer. I was playing soccer. Y ahí, it's valid. Y aún así ya nos estamos yendo al past continuous. No yeah. nos estamos en el simple past del verb be. Porque I was playing, ya le estamos agregando que estaba haciendo algo. Pero simplemente, ¿dónde estabas? Yo estaba en el trabajo. Yeah? I was at work. Or I was in class. Or I was at the office. Por eso. I tiene, was at the mall. At the mall. Por eso le digo, tiene dos usos. Era o estaba. Yes. Okay. Yo era inquieto. I was very active. I was happy. <laughs> I was handsome. I was handsome. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? <laughs> yes. <laughs> a joke. Okay, continue. Sure. Mm -hmm. Inquieto is fidgeting. Fidgeting or something? Wait a second. <laughs> Can you repeat the word? Uh, give me one second. Inquieto, hyperactivo. Hyper. Feel getting. I don't know. Ahorita se lo escribo. Ahí se lo mandé. Feel getting. Feel getting. Feel getting. One second. I'm going to see it. Let me see. Feel getting. No sé, yo nunca he visto esa palabra. Yo digo hyper. Really? Ajá, super oh, active. active. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yo le encontré como inquieto. Uh -huh. Pero dependiendo del contexto, déjeme ver. Let me check. Ok. He says, make a small movement, especially of the hands or feet. Ajá, uh -huh. como cuando están nervous. Aquí es una así. Pero ay, eso yo creo que ya es como, tal vez, una dificultad. It's like a psychological problem. Uh -huh. Ya con estos niños que ya tienen real problems. <laughs> okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so when can... you move the leg. Uh -huh, you... you shake and you look anxious and nervous. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. An easy. Could be an easy and comfortable. Uh -huh. So, yes, como. Estar inquieto por algo. Okay. As a consequence of something. Mm -hmm. but, okay. uh, but normal, a very active kid. I was a very active kid. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. okay thank well, you. kids normally are very, very energetic. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Que tienen un montón de energía. Ah, pero mándelos a lavar los platos dormidos <risa> rapidito. No, no que ellos. <risa> Rápido caen rendidos. <risa> no que ellos. Pero dicen, para no andar que... de un lado. Para... Cuando yo ah. estudiaba, Ajá. para no hacer oficio, yo tenía que tener un cuaderno en la mano. Porque mi mamá respetaba que yo estuviera estudiando. Really? Yo no me despegaba los cuadernos de... <risa> <risa> Pasaba el meeting, meeting. Pero como no había luz ni internet ni nada de eso. Había una caja enorme donde habían los cuadernos de mis hermanos que habían dejado libros y todo. Esa era mi, mi biblioteca. Entonces me, me ponía a nadar en esa caja de cuadernos buscando Your información. Google. Ese era su Google. Sí. Surfing <risa> in the box. <risa> yes. Sí, no, de hecho todos guardábamos los cuadernos. Yo sí. recuerdo que salí de la universidad y todavía tenía los cuadernos. Hasta que un día dije, ¿yo qué hago con esto? ¿Cuál día que me mude de casa? Y yo, no, he todo esto por lado. Ok, yo tengo la de pre-kinder. Really? Yes. Mi, mi hijo va a noveno y yeah, ya yeah. tengo los, los cuadernos de kinder de él. Igual, yo también ahí tengo los míos. No. Sí, ahí tengo mis rayas. Ahí. Voy a poner un negocio de comprar <risa> papelería. Sí, yo igual cuando pasa un señor, yo le here you are. <risa> here you are. Yes, it was too much. Oh my God. 
Igual, otras cosas que dejé allá en la casa de mis papás, que mis hermanos se las llegaron a prestar los amigos y nunca regresaron. Calculators, typewriting, yes. y todas esas cosas. Disappear. Yo le digo, ¿Mm? sponsoring aquí la education está. It's matching. <ríe> sí. Bueno, dejemos de compartir de mi sí. Solo regálenme un segundito. Just wanna check something here. Picture because, time. Yes, picture time. Ah, wait a minute. Ahorita la tomamos. Just okay. want to share this screen with probably para que nos enfoquemos en lo del verb be in past. Lo voy a mandar al, al sí, chat. Lo, ya se lo mando. Eso es lo que presenta el, el manual, que obviamente es la mezcla de todas, pero it's a lot of work. This, exactly. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. I was, you were, he was, she was, it was, we were, they were busy. Y a todos esos, obviamente, le agregamos el not. Y si queremos, lo contractamos para hablar más rápido. Decimos, I wasn't busy. You weren't busy. He wasn't busy, right? So, wasn't is was plus not. Weren't is were plus not. Was I, were you, was he, eso es para hacer lo de las questions y las short answers. Yes, I was. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, were you at work this morning? Yes, I was. Yes, were you in class yesterday? Yes, I was. Or no, I wasn't. Yes, so this is something I'm going to share. First, I'll take the photo and then I'll share that photo with you. Give me a second. Something went wrong with my computer. Okay. In, the, in the rock of the volcano, uh, the people write, Carlos was here or whatever name, the, the rock. <laughs> en la penca del valle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. Or in, at the, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to some rivers that have like this kind of big rocks and they also do that. <laughs> Crazy yeah. people. Yes. But anyways, that happens. Let's see, I share this screenshot with you right now. Teacher, no aviso, teacher. Sí, cierto. Tani muy serio. Ay, sorry. Ahí les mostré el verdadero. Ah. La atención que me están poniendo, porque mira yo para otro lado. Ya estuvo el dinner. Qué terrible. Aquí, okay. sí. Vamos a ver cómo se miran. Porque, oh, yes. Other one, Pichu. You want another photo? Yeah. Vaya, pues, pose. Es algo mi jefe en la pandemia, solo tomando fotos en, la, en las minis. Pero siempre era, cuando salía bien, él las compartía. No, no las compartía yo. <laughs> Vaya, one, two, three. Ahí está. Thank you. All right, I'll share. I'll share, share, share. Thank you. Okay. Y yes, eso, hoy sí había más voces. Y de los compañeros que tienen pictures. Because others don't have, they just have the name. All right. Attendance. The chief, the teacher, very glad. <laughs> okay, Andrea. Ya se nos fue Andrea. Present. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Carlos. Hi. Tenis. Gilberto. Present teacher. Hello. Present teacher. Dennis, present teacher. <laughs> no problem. Hazel, Jose. Present. Julio Cesar. Present. Catherine. Present. 
Kathy Reseda. Present. Mary. Present teacher. Okay, Roberto. Present. Let's see, let's see. Rolando. Present teacher. Judy. Salvador. Andrea Urbina. Virginia. Present teacher. Okay. Virginia. Present teacher. Hello. And William. Present. Okay, great. So the one on one sessions for tonight is for Virginia. Hazel. Hazel. No, Hazel participated already. Ah, Even okay, Mary good. participated. Well, he, no, yeah. Catherine también. So, Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher. You can't. Eh, ¿Puedo recibir la lunas? Yes, pero si sí, su compañero Rolando cambia con usted. Dice <laughs> Rolando. <laughs> Rolando, please. <laughs> Lo, lo voy a invitar a un par. Ah, ok, ok. Y es así. De café. De café. De café. Taza de café. Café con piquete. Para ti, dígale. Ok. Ok, thank you very much. Have a nice thank weekend. You. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Take care. Bye. bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, Mr. Rolando. Un acto de solidaridad. <laughs> With Robert. Cuéntame, <laughs> <laughs> ¿cómo se sentido eh, en el Sí, tiempo? ¿verdad? Sí. Ah. Eh... Pues hay muchas cosas que no entiendo. <risa> es su primera vez. Eh, no sé cómo. Uh, no, o sea, sí, pero no. Algunas cosas le entiendo de las que habla usted, pero algo otras no, para nada. <risa> pero ha estado como en este programa durante los cuatro meses. Sí, sí, sí. Mm, sí. que inició en el nivel 1 ajá mm, ya, sí, lo que pasa es que a veces igual nos ponemos como a hablar de otras cosas que surgen, ¿verdad? no necesariamente mantenemos como solo la conversación de, de los temas del, del manual entonces, sí podría ser que en ese momento usted como pierda un poco la quizás la secuencia de lo que se está hablando, pero no se preocupe, no es mayor cosa, pues a veces son temas que surgen, preguntas que, que los compañeros tienen, pero usted manténgase con el manual, estúdielo y sobre todo repase, digamos, una o dos veces antes de iniciar la clase para que tenga como de repente un poco presente de qué es lo que se va a hablar. Puede ser que surjan una que otra cosa, pero siempre y cuando usted entienda lo que estamos explicando de la clase, no, no pasa nada. Después pues va a desarrollar la habilidad ya de como de chambrear en inglés. <ríe> ok. Eh, ese del el was y es el, la pronunciación de es where o... Sí, es where, pero es como suavecito. Where. where. Es como está el where, de dónde. De dónde. Es, que es un poco más fuerte. Es como where. Where? Ah, where okay. do you live? Yeah, where, la... where? They were my friends. Ah, es más uh -huh. suave. Uh -huh. Como más, más, un poco, dejar caer un poco más la mandíbula. Where? Wow. Where? Yeah. Ah, uh -huh. ah, igual que la otra frase que confunde un poco es este, work, wall, wall, creo que se pronuncia mundo, palabra. Son Vaya, palabra, palabra es word, como word, como word. Microsoft Word. Lo word. que termina es la D. Ah, okay. Y word. mundo, 
Lo que predomina es la L. World. 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 Como we are the world. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. y, y ese que menciona Seros Fashion, ¿qué, ¿qué significa? Es que yo en una canción la he escuchado. Seros Fashion. Seros Set fashion. of Fashion. Creo. ¿Qué? Fashion es moda. Si la canción ah. tiene que ver con moda, pues podría ser como un set para, para modas, como un desfile de moda. Es una canción electrónica y dice Seros Fashion. Parece así he escuchado que dice. Uh -huh. Hay que buscar uh -huh. la lyrics. Yo lo que les recomiendo <risas> es que busque y ponga lo que usted cree que dice y luego le pone lyrics, la palabra lyrics. La palabra lyrics lo que significa es que le vaya saliendo la letra de lo que va cantando. Sí, igual este, veo bastante videos y practico canto. Ah, aquí, le voy a, aquí le voy a poner la palabra que le tiene que agregar, lyric. Ahí está. Por ejemplo, si usted ah, pone okay. the eye of a tiger, por decir algo. The eye of a tiger, pero le agrega lyrics. Entonces, en lugar de salir la escena donde van los, los artistas cantando y todo, no, le va a ir saliendo lo que van diciendo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y eso le va a ayudar como a ir leyendo y a ir identificando las palabras. Ajá, y que como pasa que, bueno, a veces las canciones no... O son una cosa o... y uno escucha otra. Ajá, por ejemplo, estaba oyendo la otra, el otro día una canción que decía, como que decía... We, we like to party, pero we like to party, pero es we like to party. We like to party. Ajá. Ah, pero ya es sé que... de cuáles canciones me está hablando. De, 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 de las canciones sí. que bailábamos en los noventa. Yeah, a mí me gusta bastante el techno, por eso. Es. I know. I know. <ríe> sí. Like Como dice la canción, we like to party, we mm -hmm. like to party. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Me gusta andar de fiesta. <risa> sí, eh, sí practico bastante eso, trato de escuchar Ajá, bastante sí, música. Haga eso y agreguele la palabra lyrics para que le vaya saliendo. Ah, uh -huh. ok, ok. Ok. Um, Algo más, Dan, Danilo le iba a decir, y todo le dicen Rolando. <risa> pero fíjese que solo Danilo casi me dice. De verdad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Ah, pues ahora le empezó a decir Rolando. Sí, solo en los, en los cursos me dicen Rolando y ahí solo dan. <risa> Interesting. Sí. Quizás como ajá. Ajá, uno tiene o tiende, más bien dicho, a llamarle como por el primer nombre. Sí, uh -huh, sí, quizás sí. por eso. Mm. Bueno, pues, thank bueno. you very much. Ya no los retengo bueno, más. Para gracias, que teacher. Okay. Bye. Bye. Happy Bye. weekend, teacher. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. See you Monday. See you Monday. Okay. Bye.